All right. Let's go. Back into the permanent world. So, we made a, quite a bit of progress last time. Grab this outpost here, for example, which is... <laughs> yeah, now getting hit pretty hard. And yeah, we're just about to finish flamethrower technology, so next big step here is going to be to take this oil. So we're going to need to figure out a way to do that. Maybe that way to do that is to just try to s just clear a path right through this forest and just sneak up here and take it. Maybe. Alternatively, we could go out here and try to take out these nests on the way and then grab it. And yeah, then we'll probably before we do any of that, probably need to reinforce here a bit more. I can replace that turret that we just lost, for example. And we do also have this extra belt of iron that I'm not using currently. So maybe the very first thing to do is actually to hook that up and get a dedicated belt of iron for the uh, for the mall and one dedicated for the science. Seems like a good plan. Then maybe we can even expand this a bit and uh, produce a bit of extra steel because steel is currently the bottleneck for the red ammo. Um, and yeah, ammo supply is going to be a big thing here. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna need to move that radar back and also refill here. Uh, so, let's see, this one is going to fall quite soon if I don't reinforce it now. Okay, there was another turret falling. There's a big group too. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I'm really going to need more damage upgrades. But yeah, I think the thing to do right now is reinforce here first, then go up here and reinforce, then go out here and reinforce, and then get started on taking this oil. Seems like the way to go here. I think. Attacks are really starting to hurt now. Another turret falling. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need flames over towards very soon. And yeah, there we have those. <laughs> but I will need oil to actually use them. Uh, so, uh, what's next? I don't really have a much of a use for stronger explosives. I do have a use for more damage. So yeah, maybe just start on this one right away. Uh, the other option is to go for blue science and try to get the robots. Let's see where those are here, there, and then there. Still quite a way to go, so I think I'm going to need this first 
flammables will also be useful once once I have flame flames of retorts actually working. Well, I don't right now. I could also upgrade logistics to make myself more mobile mostly, and also this would also let me easily upgrade my furnaces. Uh, it will consume lots and lots of iron though. So let's see, 1600 packs. If I'm... my current science facilities are... Um, are designed for one pack per second. So that's gonna be like 20 minutes if I take this. And if I can keep it up at full speed, which I don't think I can. Uh, because I don't have enough steel to support that. But yeah, I think that's going to have to be uh, the most important thing here. I'm going to leave a bit more ammo in this, so I can leave it for longer. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I guess the thing I could do here is smelt into iron and then immediately smelt into steel. That could work maybe. So that I don't need to rebuild that too much. Need more ammo here. Could use some more ammo. This looks like a smaller group though. Relatively speaking. Okay, so where are they? Okay, they're up here now. Yeah, this is gonna fall. So I'm gonna have to get up there. I guess I can just cut through here. towards my inventory though, but yeah, I think that's probably enough to deal with these in case they attack me. Can grab some of these too. With the yellow ammo, they're not going to do much anyway. And there they go with the... Okay. The yellow ammo turrets were able to clean that up. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to need more turrets here. I'm gonna pick these up and move them forward. It looks like this is actually starting to empty out. So yeah, on the right side, this isn't going to be producing as much pollution anymore.
Okay, the projectile damage is coming along at least. So yeah, once that drops, uh, that is going to approximately double my damage against big biters. Which is going to be quite important. and more ammo. Then I can go try to reinforce the outpost. Let's see this belt. Yeah, I can ride this belt down here. That'll take me there. How's this doing? Yeah, okay. Still holding up at least. So it doesn't require constant attention, at least. Yeah. So how's it looking on ammo? Yeah, there's still plenty of ammo on the belt, at least. like to be producing ammo slightly faster. But I suppose I can't really help it all that much. See there, we have 50, okay. Right, I'm gonna need to bump that up too. I guess I am soon going to be needing much more turrets than that. Let's bump that up to 250. Right, and another thing I should do is try to set up this recipe. Start producing flamethrower darts. That should start working. Thirty plates. Wow. And there it goes. Okay. That takes, yeah, 40 seconds in one of these assemblers. So yeah, at least the inserters should be able to keep up, I think. And I'm also considering if I should run an ammo belt out here, but yeah, I think still the main problem is not ammo supply, but it's uh, turrets dying. Automating ammo supply doesn't do all that much to to help that. I guess these turrets also are going to need some better ammo, actually. I think it's probably time to make two parallel belts here to make it easier to move around here.
First, let's dump some ammo in there. Let's go on a round here. Oh, there was another attack right just now. Yeah, the new indicator on these for when they are uh, when they're out of resources is so nice. like to make some pushes to try to take out some nests but last time I tried that at this kind of stage of the game I just died <laughs> so I think I want to be a bit more careful this time wait until I have at least this next damage upgrade before I do so so let's sit going here oh we are backed up on military science Okay. Alright, so yeah, if I can just set this iron line up here and get some dedicated iron for the sciences, it should speed up research by quite a lot then, it seems. I thought it was <coughs> I thought it was actually steel or steel lost a bottleneck, but it looks like it's actually iron. do it for now, for here. Let's see if I can place these two. Yeah. Get these repaired. Okay. This, yeah, still has plenty of ammo. to be reinforced almost. Yeah, I can't really stay here forever. I need to set up that iron belt. Yeah, and now I can just ride this all the way out here. Though I do need, do need to keep an eye on the map so I don't get sniped on the way. Okay, so I need to pull another belt up there. So I guess I can just do something like this and I can run one parallel here. a bit to make it a bit nicer. But yeah, that, that should do it. Um, 
So maybe up here I just need to make a wall this shape instead. So that more than one turret can fire it at a time. Because right now I think the shape of this uh, turret box there is kind of killing it. And not killing it in a good way. I don't think I need all of those grenades in my inventory, seeing as I'm mostly or maybe even exclusively using them for uh, clearing forests. I should try to dump some yellow ammo too. going instead. So here then, uh, let's do this. And yeah, then just go like that, that, that. Another those there. running. So now I can yeah, just detach this splitter and pull this iron line up here instead. This can probably hold for a bit longer. steel I think. Yep. Seems good. This covers both of the sciences, so just do that. Disconnect this here. And there we go. So we have dedicated iron for the sciences, and I think this should cover both of them completely. And then dedicated iron for the mole as well. Let's 
see Do these get enough here because these should consume together four per second these eight because one is only for an extra bit of surplus uh, should consider or consume two and a half per second so that's four and a half and then we have one two three four five six okay so oh yeah so that's ten so yeah that yeah look this does cover it completely okay nice that should get the signs running at full speed except now we have a steel shortage maybe Now these are seeing combat. So now let's see here, are we consuming? We're not quite consuming three entire belts. Why is that? Oh yeah, it's because we have these, okay. These are still holding at least. gonna be take a small while for this to ramp up okay projected damage is already 33 percent done that's very good so let's go up there and uh, optimize that layout a bit to be quite that close <laughs> even if I wasn't really worried that they would take this all out Hurts in as close as possible.
can feel a bit safer here. Not much, but a bit. Running out of beds. Okay. able to hold a bit better with this better angle of attack here. Looks like there are still some ghosts in here though. Those ones still need ammo. Can probably take most out of these two. All three down on projectile damage. So once that is done. I think I will probably be able to go out and try to clear a path to that oil patch. Okay, time to go pick up some belts. Maybe some more turrets if we have them. Maybe even some flames or turrets. Yep, 18, that's very good. I think I want to place some of those to defend the oil patch right away. Uh, because the flamers are going to be much, much more deadly than the gun turrets right now, I think. 
And another thing they do is they have much better range. Which means they are quite a lot better at dealing with spitters. I don't think I need all these steam engines, so I'm probably gonna dump some of those too. Dump some of these. Let's get rid of this iron too. Okay, I'll take all of those. Right, and those are here. Take those. And I have plenty of pipes, that should not be a problem. I will need some more pump jacks. So up here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need six more. some of these furnaces as well. I'm probably never going to use those again. There it is, okay. Probably don't need all those steel furnaces in my inventory either. Uh, let's dump some of those. I can keep one stack because I need some in my inventory anyway as a backup. Move this to the library. Can I put these in the library? No, I can, okay. Cool, then I can put those here. Clear them out of the inventory too. I should dump some yellow ammo as well, I think. Don't need all those chests. Oh. Need to reinforce that. Oops, and this should now be chests, so we can re enable these. Uh, leave that one there, limit to one stack. Okay, and now we need belts. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go out to that outpost and reinforce it a bit. And then I can hopefully start moving towards that oil patch. Yeah, okay. I'm starting to feel better about the ammo supply at least. So with that I think it's time to upgrade the ammo here. And also done some yellow ammo in these. Do it this way this time, because last time when I dumped it straight into these assemblers, the uh, the inserters stopped working because they picked up the wrong material. So let's go here. All oh right, there was something else I needed to fix too, wasn't there? Down here. Okay, this one can hold out for a while longer. Turrets are getting, getting killed here, rather than the ammo supply. Whoops. Okay. And another group moving in there. Okay, those might be a problem. OK, 
because this one alone is not going to pull them off. Probably. Yeah, no. Because that's gonna get ugly. Still want a few there. Okay, let's see. There. Oh. Okay, so I need to first quickly get these turrets back up and running. Density in there. Okay, there's the immediate problem solved. It isn't really the walls, it's the spitters. I will still reinforce the walls anyway. Don't need it there though. Yeah, protect all damage is almost done. Next after that's gonna require blue signs. It's gonna be a while until I can get that. a few backup turrets in here. So that if that gets if this gets breached they can try to clean some of it up at least. So a little bit of more DPS in there. Yeah, the problem here is that they're attacking at a corner angle here. Maybe I should just pull the corner in a bit here, actually. Yeah, because if, if I can just kill them much quicker, then they won't have as much time to do as much damage. So what if I do that? Just fix these up here. Okay. 
Just do like this. So the belt will have to go something like this. Pressure now. Let's see how this goes. Well, we successfully spread the damage out at least. I think this should be. This should perform a bit better. same up there too. Although I don't have quite the same space here. But I can fit at least one more turret in here, I think. Maybe even two. Uh, so let's see then. How to do the belt. Can do like this instead. This does increase the risk a bit in that uh, if this turret gets destroyed, this one will no longer have an ammo supply. I think that's a risk I can live with. So I can put that there. That's going to be okay for now, but I need to refill this with ammo. Yeah, this is really eating up ammo quickly. Fortunately, we have a lot of ammo wa waiting for us in the base. And yeah, once we get this damage upgrade, uh, that's going to also reduce ammo consumption by quite a bit. least improve ammo efficiency by quite a bit. Uh, I'll keep some of it in my inventory. Yep, yeah, let's hope this holds for a while.
have had a few more attacks here, it seems. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of just clearing a path right through the forest here. Oh, I forgot to place a radar. I really need to do that. Guess I can place some out here too. Some backups. That one's almost enough, actually. Okay, if I place one here... Maybe that can be enough. Because I will need to get back here somewhat soon, anyway. Let's hope we can deal with that one. Yeah, they're chewing through those turrets. <sighs> and this damage upgrade cannot come quickly enough. Guess I should go back there right away and fix it. Because that's gonna land quite soon. And once it does land, it should increase the survivability of these turrets by quite a bit. Yep, at least the ammo is still building up in the base. Spread in here and take another look at how much more damage that is going to do. So this is projectile damage four. Uh, for which red, red ammo does with that upgrade, red ammo does twenty damage per shot in a turret. While with damage upgrade three, it only does fifteen point six. So it is a 30% damage increase, which is quite significant. Again, I'm going to place a few more backups in here. case some enemies make it through. Right now we need to place a radar. So another very important thing I'm going to need to do as soon as I get red circuits is to research and start producing efficiency modules. Uh, in order to decrease these pol this pollution by 80%. And yeah, since that is almost all of my pollution, it's... Let's see, that's... Uh, 500, 600, yeah, so that's half of my pollution. So reducing that by 80% would pretty much halve my pollution output. So yeah, that's something I'm going to need to do. Yeah, 
this layout here it looks to be much more efficient. Now that we can have more than one turret firing at a time. Okay. So this damage upgrade should be done any minute now. Okay, yeah, yeah, and now it looks like the bottleneck is the steel. So, yeah, one thing I could do even quite easily, wow, yeah, uh, I could extend this furnace to also make steel as a secondary thing. Cannot make it prioritize iron right now. I can do that with circuits, but I don't have those researched yet. And I also need more coal for the furnaces, and I don't have more coal here. Okay. That is going to be a problem. So I'm going to need to go out and take this coal mine here. <sighs> Pretty much immediately, really. Camp plants. Yes, I do. What's the limit on that? 50. Okay, so I'm going to disable the steel input for the mall for now. And just funnel all the steel into the science. Actually, I will do it up there to leave less wasted on the belt here, uh, so that I can get the science done as soon as possible. Because with that, I think I should be able to take these nests quite easily and um, take that coal. place for yellow ammo. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it does work. Okay. That's good. Oh, whoops. Yeah, that's gonna die. Hope I don't die while dealing with it. Yeah, this is also looking a little better now. Okay, so how much are they going to kill here? Nothing all that important. They'll probably get run and run into this and probably get killed by that. Doesn't do much damage against the big ones, but at least it does something. And I, s I think it is actually still more efficient, um, even at killing big biters, than the red ammo is efficient in terms of uh, iron consumption. So 
here the problem actually was the ammo supply. As soon as the ammo ran out, these were destroyed. Completely mine out now. It's fine for a while longer. So I was thinking about this and if I can upgrade this to make some extra steel. And I can, I can just turn these the other way. And uh, then I have coal on this belt here. Oh, except I don't have coal, but... Uh, yeah. This is 95%, so 5% is how much? 1% is, is 16, times 5 is 50, 30, that's 80. So that needs, what, 80 more steel, I guess? Yes, 80 more steel. Do we have that on the belt? Probably. Wow. This has been going the whole the wrong way the whole time. Okay, I'm gonna go fix that. But okay, so this upgrade should be done any minute now. And then I can go out and conquer some nests and take that oil. Yeah, this ammo belt is drying up though. Not much left on the melt. So maybe I again need to go and refill that before I go out. Uh, I really need to babysit this a lot. But yeah, this upgrade again will help with that a lot. Hmm. 
maybe the coal is the more critical part there. And the coal shortage. Alright, so let's see here. There we go. So now this can actually work at the capacity it's designed for. think. Yeah. It's probably like a hundred ammo or something on the belt, but yeah, I'm probably going to burn through it quite quickly. Okay, so that looks like it should be done. Yeah, as soon as these finish processing their packs, the upgrade is done. Finally. Buffered up. No more flame turrets, but that's okay. So yeah, now I can probably enable them all again. There we go. Great, okay. So do I get shooting speed also? It does increase DPS by quite a lot more. But yeah, maybe I need this first. Yeah, that will enable me to increase steel production. So I'll take that. I will need more iron mines in order to actually feed that steel. But this one should be quite easy to take. So now I want to see how the turrets are doing against the biters. Oh, here we go. Okay, much better. Ah! Do I still have a nest in vision? I do not. Okay. I would like to take a look at what evolution is at right now. Okay, let's see here. Oops, that's the wrong one. Oh no. Okay, I think I caught it. Yeah, okay. That one in is dead. Yeah, I'm gonna need to wait a while for this to build up again. Then again, maybe it won't because I don't have coal. So, actually... I might need this. It's gonna have to make do with just one stack, I guess. they come. It's a big wave. Man, they just annihilate that poor turret. Hmm. 
Right, so what I need right now is coal. So 16 megawatts of power. And here I have how many? 17 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, so 13. So that's actually 26 megawatts of coal. Okay, so I can at least feel the power plant without any problems right now. But yeah, it's not quite enough for these. Or is it? No. No, it's not. Well, it is enough for a bit of it. But not much. Time to go out and take some coal bases and some oil. For this I might actually need a whole bunch of grenades, so let's take those. So I will need to clear a lot of forests for this. I think I need to reinforce that right now because I can just take out these nests instead. So I'll dump that here. And now we go out. So for that I'm I'm going to prepare some tanks. And here should be fine, maybe. Maybe up there. Um, some tanks that I can start pumping oil into as soon as I connect the oil. I don't want them to be too exposed, but yeah, here should be fine. this way so maybe I can't actually just run the pipes straight up. Yeah, I will need to run the pipes down anyway so never mind actually. against the big biters and I try my best not to die this time. Uh, so let's wait. Uh, yeah, I do need this out there for the coal. Something like that.
I'll go there first. This should be no trouble, hopefully. Yeah, I have plenty of ammo, plenty of turrets, plenty of repair packs, so this should be fine. It's also only biters and no worms. Should also make things easy. Oh, there is a worm there. I need to not stand in the slime. Okay. <laughs> that was closer than it should have been. Just because I was trying to be... Trying to be greedy and not place the turret and have the turret get fired on by the worm. So I'll try to be less greedy in the next attack. One nest taken care of without any trouble. Next one is there, and that's right on top of the coal. Question is can I secure the coal? I guess I have to. There's not a lot of ammo in the base, but if I can get the coal supply back up, I should be able to uh, continue generating more ammo. And then use that ammo to take that oil. Also have quite a bit of range. Can't shoot me from here. 
least. Alright, so here I'm going to need to push under the cover of the turrets. Okay, that's the room taken care of. Pushing into here shortly. This as a start. It's a bit bigger than I need, but it's okay. That at least gives me an outline of the walls I need for this. those first. I guess I should. Um, play this one first. I don't really need to go around here, do I? At this point it's not really any difference. Big worm, whoops. Range 38, 30. So this is range 18, meaning about twice the range of that is the range of a worm. So like that. Wow. So that's the range of the worm, approximately. Also a big worm, okay. okay. That's right outside the range. Wave. 
Big worms are down, makes things a lot easier. Okay, there's another big one there. quite scary. Uh, so the question now is do I keep pushing? I don't think I have... Yeah, I, yeah, I do not have enough ammo to take the big nest there. Most of your turrets there. Should be fine. here and let's see here I'm yeah again disable the steel input to the mall and also disable the input to the military science and just funnel all of the steel into ammo Because that is what I need most right now. Yeah, there's, that's not a lot. So I need to get this back up and running, or get this coal outpost running, so that I can keep producing ammo. Logistics 2 finished. I have no use for cars. <laughs> oh, although I guess I'll eventually need it for artillery. Funnily enough. Uh, but yeah, um, I think the next priority is going to be... It's going to be the blue science and also the modules, actually. So maybe I should get started on that, yeah, and I'm going, I'm going to need this for robots also, and yeah, just for everything, basically. Um, yeah, I guess enabling this now doesn't actually keep consuming steel, since I disabled the steel for the research input, so yeah, let's just start it. Let's 
Let's get this coal running. Unless maybe I should take this out first. Because this is going to cause a lot of pollution and just start. Yeah, all of these are going to start aggroing. So I guess I just probably just need to defend. These are 60 turrets, that means they're going to um, they're going to stack up 600 ammo in here, or they're going to try. So the ammo I have is not going to make it all the way around. Which I guess means I should not place all the turrets. Still probably need most of these. Thank you. 
still okay. What happened here? Oh, that was a cliff. Sorters too. Sixty three, that means I can get away with just two belts here. safe behind these walls for now. So yeah, this is not a full belt. That is not a full belt. That is not a full belt, okay? So that's 
fine, and then I can do another cat. And finally merge these two. That should work. stuff here. Alright, time to play some miners. Too, but at least I have some mediums I can use instead. So can get rid of some of those. Why are those? No? Oh. already going to attract some attacks. Let's hope we can survive them. this back to the base.
might not have enough pelts actually. Just barely. outpost gets taken out now, then at least this, uh, all this coal I already have on this belt is going to be a pretty good buffer at least. Okay, at least they have enough belts to bring this one belt back. At the very least. Okay, <laughs> I'm suddenly feeling a lot better about this. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave this there, I suppose, and go get some more belts. And also all of that ammo. And then connect this up. get it kind of down there, but I guess I can bring it to about here and split it somewhere around there, here instead. So are we getting attacked there? No. Here. Okay, this is running out of ammo. Okay, so I'm gonna target to have a splitter there, I think. Priority, bring it this way, let's bring it down one. There, and then the other one goes down. just in time. So do I need to f intervene here? I think I can do this belt first and then go over there and reinforce. I should also set up some assemblers for red belts. I guess I can do that here. Except I just run a belt on in there. Uh, so I'll have to move that belt. Just take all of that. Right, and I need more inserters too. Ok, 
can't pick up some more miners. or as many as I can. This belt again. I guess I can put it here instead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're seeing contact there. No, but okay, I'm just. That. Let's see, and uh, dump some of that coal. And let's see, this is going to split. It's time to change these, I think. I don't even really need those. Uh, okay. Except I placed that right where I was going to put it. Okay. So split and underneath the. And that's gonna be okay for now. Or even like that. I need to go attend that. Smelt single directed when I can.
Global crisis is averted, as long as I can keep this outpost alive. Pick up some more ammo there and then go reinforce the iron outpost. Wonder if it's time to restart the steel supply for the for the mall yet. I need kind of need three lines like this. Like that. So I think I might need a different space to do that. Like maybe down here. Yeah, I don't want to look too far away in case something like this happens while I'm in map view. All these turrets are still standing. Yeah, not that one, but uh, not that one, but all the others are still standing. That's very good, at least. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be carrying around 200, 230 steel furnaces. If I'm not planning to place them very soon. <laughs> Thousand ammo in there. really are not the problem here. Probably don't really need to repair all of them, but yeah, whatever. Okay, let's see there. Let's rip. 
prepare all of them that I can reach at least. Not to worry too much about it. Right, and then Zark coming back up online with ammo. Upgrade is really holding its weight here. Right, I actually forgot that this doesn't consume military science. So my worries about consuming steel for that weren't actually that relevant in the end. Okay, this should last for a while. We have already a bunch more ammo in the base. Okay, it's starting to feel pretty good here. Go back to base, grab that ammo, go back up here, reinforce a bit, and then probably try to take out these, at least these three here, and then start thinking about this one. That's going to be a lot more challenging just because it's a bit, a lot bigger. Plastic is done. Again, I don't think I really have much use for, like, much direct use for any of these. I guess it would be circuit networks maybe. Because then I could do that half and half steel and uh, iron furnace that I was talking about. But on the other hand I can also just make some red belts and upgrade the steel furnace. That's also an option. Could do shooting speed. But I don't think I'm gonna spend the steel right now. Because that 1200 steel that would go into this could be 1200 red ammo instead. So yeah, let's just get started on this, I suppose. That actually lets me set up red circuit factories, except I don't have any oil, so I can't do that right just yet. Maybe I need to grab this iron so I can actually upgrade all the furnaces here. So yeah, what I can do is I can... Uh, right, I need to reinforce this too. Uh, I can make some red belts and upgrade the steel furnace and then take the if this line gets any overflow which maybe it doesn't actually only a tiny bit yeah if this gets any over overflow I can feed that in here instead Oh, and this is not running full speed anymore. Yeah, because it cannot, okay. So yeah, maybe another iron outpost is the first thing to do before the oil, but then again, 
oil will make it a lot easier to defend all the things because I can do it with flamethrower turrets. Which would, if nothing else, it would drastically reduce my consumption of red ammo and therefore steel. See, I think I've talked myself into going for the oil first. I think I need to grab more of maybe some inserters. Let's move this to Blueprint Library. Oh yeah, we, I was talking about dumping some of the furnaces. Can do that here. place them here because this is where I'm going to be using them anyway. Um, why is this a splitter? Oh yeah, because I pulled one this way. So I can place the chest there, probably. And just dump all of them. Right now I also need to go up here. Might need another copper mine soon, too. Oh, I should grab some more repair packs. That is the thing I should do before I leave. So that is still holding up. I guess the... These aren't getting too aggroed by the by the still pretty light pollution they're seeing, at least. Hello, Gerard. I don't talk myself into it. Who else will? And congrats on the call outpost. Thank you. It's looking good. Thank you. Uh, is this a run? It just might be. Uh, this certainly feels like the farthest I've gotten so far, at least. Uh, I have... I haven't really done outposts, or I haven't really uh, gotten to the point of getting to outposts in any of my previous attempts, so this might be the run. If I can survive long enough to get robots, then it really starts to uh, seem like it would be the run. Because that is the critical point where I start being able to really actually do things. Okay, so grab some repair packs. This belt will take me all the way there, okay? And all the way up there, and then I can stop the belt there. Right, I also need to pull this one in. But I don't really have a use for it right now, anyway. I could beef that up a little bit, I suppose. Wait, I didn't refill these. That's not correct.
I dumped a thousand ammo in there, but I guess it's getting certainly getting used, I will say. like that I have about 400 ml less yeah 500 ml less even I think Whew. yes I can steal some from here Because this steel's backing up. I guess we can re enable them all then. Maybe even just to priority. Oh, yes. Very nice. I think. Oh yeah, and if I'm going to do another outpost, I'm going to need more walls. One thousand flat should be good. Seeing as I use about 700 for that. Might as well pi pick those up again and take all of those. Bumps that up to 200. Can probably take a few more turrets as well. This does not have a limit. Oops. I guess I don't really need to connect that coal just yet. If I'm not using it anyway. I guess there is a splitter. Yeah, there's a splitter up there, so that's going to make sure this is fully fed anyway. Okay. Let's take out a few more nests, reinforce this, and then move up this way. I 
don't think I actually need this in the hot bar. The deconstruction planner for items on the ground. Pushes first so that I have a comfortable amount of ammo in my inventory when I do so. And then reinforce this. Maybe I go for this one first so that I know I have enough ammo. for this one first, I think. Evo is 60%. Mm. Yeah, behemoths won't show up until... 95 or 90, somewhere around there, I think. So it's still gonna be a while, but... Mm. Actually, let me check. Here, enemies. Yeah, they show up at ninety percent. So that's still a way to go, at least. And I should be able to have flamethrowers and landmines and robots by that time, which will make them quite easy to deal with. right now because yeah I think I just want to focus on this attack first uh, so um, modular armor is going to require red circuits which I don't have I guess all of these are really in some way or another uh, this moves me closer to chemical science packs and robots this moves me closer to Efficiency modules. I think I'll take this one first. Both of them are going to require red circuits anyway, so... can't make use of either until I have this oil anyway, so... Uh oh Okay, 
That one missed me. Should probably move closer this way so that I don't accidentally aggro both of these nets at the same time. Fingers on the hotkeys. No, I think I'm gonna leave the belts there. Uh, let's take a look. How many worms are there? Small, 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 small. Okay, this is an old nest. Just a bunch of small worms. So this should actually be quite easy. I think. As long as I can survive the initial waves. The rest should be pretty okay. easier than I had feared, thanks to <laughs> the very weak worms. So what about this? Okay, can't quite see it from here. Weren't wrong seems pretty easy, yep. Yeah, when you, d when you don't need to worry too much about the turrets uh, getting taken out, you can really just push quite aggressively like that. And also the less time you spend... Um, the less time you spend during a, an attack, the less enemies will spawn. Meaning the less ammo you'll spend at least as well. Okay, so that only cost 140 ammo for like, what, 10 something spawners? Fourteen spawners, so yeah. Ten ammo magazines per spawner basically. Okay, so that leaves me a straight path to go get this one. So yeah, I'll <laughs> I looked down here and was terrified for a moment. But yeah, I should have more than enough to take out this, this, and this, and then secure the oil, I think. Lurking, soon to be sleeping, good luck. Okay, thank you. And uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around and chatting. Yeah, good night. You are very welcome to keep lurking if you wish.
this should also hopefully be no big problem. Again, assuming I can survive the initial wave. Yeah, this is just two spawners. Quite a few worms though. Looks like the biggest is a medium, maybe? Yeah, biggest is a medium worm, so that should be fine. I pulled off that turret. of these nests. Alright, so... That only cost 40 ammo. Alright, should I take this one out too? Or go there first? Yeah, I'll go here, take both of these nests out, and then go up for the oil. I think I can leave most of these belts and take some of them down. Yeah, the big difference now, or between now and my last attempts that died during one of these attacks is that now I have the level 4 damage upgrade. And that is really making all the difference here. Still holding out okay. <sighs> I guess I'll have to clear a path through the forest here. This is going to be awkward. But okay, again, it looks like it's only small worms. So this should be fine. The trees will make it a bit awkward though. Need 
these turrets here. Make one right from here. Sulfur processing is done. Okay, let's get the blue signs back. here. That was actually a lot easier than I feared again. Grenades are really helped me out here with the trees. So just straight south from here. Again, maybe through a few trees. We'll see. We're running really lean on the ammo here. Big worm again. So about there is the range on that worm. Yep. I'm standing right outside the range. Okay. So there's those two and those and then two small ones. Okay, that should be manageable. Hmm. Can I aggro the biters somehow?
So I think what I'll do is I will play some turrets, move forward, try to get the fighters to aggro, kill them, and then fall back to these and let them kill the fighters, and then push back. Continue pushing forward again. I think that's going to be the strategy here. Okay, let's try again the turrets. That's what I wanted. there. So that probably cost me a bit of ammo in that turret. signs here. I guess these will... Uh, actually mining productivity. Let's get that. easy. bit messy. That worked out fine. But I probably need to make a pit stop in the base now before I try to... Or actually, I don't actually need to take out any bases to take oil do I? I really just need to to play some pump jacks, place a few pillboxes and then run it all back to the base. Okay, 
didn't leave anything there, good. should be able to get up there without any problems and then get back down with the pipes, pick up some more ammo. Oh yes. And then go back out and try to kill a few more of these nests. See, I don't think I need to reinforce this right now. This should be fine, since there's really nothing in the pollution cloud right now. I guess it helps a lot that this isn't working full time. Since I don't need all that coal. So it's not producing all the pollution that it could if it were working full time. Ouch. Still manageable, I think. And even if that entire outpost gets breached and destroyed, I can still recover, I think. Because I still have, yeah, like 200 more miners in the base. And plenty of ammo turrets and rolls also. So that, that's fine, even if I lose that outpost. Should be bringing power poles up here though. So let's see. Let's put one there, I guess.
last. title is realized as well. And now actually outposting for oil. So let's see oh, there. So first of all I'm gonna need some defenses while I work. that because these walls are no longer yeah these walls are useless now because we're seeing big biters so let's instead do like this I guess Surprise killed. Place another turret box over here.
Wait. So now I just need to connect this up to the base. And also take this nest out. to connect that oil up to the base. Uh, and I was also talking about using blame throw turrets up here actually. So maybe I should set that up first. safe here so let's see let's do some flame turrets and for that I guess I'm gonna need to clear the forest here as well so if I just put those down somewhere in the middle here and then put some walls around the edges See, I think someone has said it's like something like that is a range of spitters. That would make sense, I suppose, because that outranges these turrets. Are there any spitters I can look at here? Maybe I'll just look it up on the web. Let's see here. Big Spitter has a range 15. So yeah, range 15, that means 5 of these. And this has a longer range than that, so if I build a wall out of there, this will be further out than the range of the Spitters. So, like that, for example. Oops. Oh, wait. Oh, this was the original, okay. There, and... There. Then this way. Yeah, that should work. And finally, this way we can do there and. There, should be okay. So then I just need to draw this box here. 
very much. I can end all those show on the map. Good. Is that six, 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 six exactly? <laughs> All right, that's more, uh, that's less than I have, so that's fine. This corner is not quite covered actually, so I'm gonna pull and have to pull that in a bit. Like that.
Okay, now all of it is just barely covered. if I were to kill myself with, with grenades like that. That would be extremely embarrassing. So now let's see if there are any ghosts remaining here. Smells and one wall segment there. Okay. And everything is covered by Flamethrowers. This should hold pretty well now. And then these. Uh, maybe I should have some secondary inner walls. So that the... Uh, So these turrets can clean up if anything makes it through. Okay, these can reach outside there. Okay, I'll make some additional inner walls here. I don't need to cover absolutely everything, just Mostly the turrets, really. Because if the outer wall gets breached, I am going to have to get here to attend to it anyway. Okay, that's quite bad. This really needs to refill ammo. Some stack inserts. Okay. That should be be able to hold off all, all but the most. One of the most persistent attacks here. So, time to pull this all back to the base and then go reinforce here.
Okay, really starting to breach here now. Fortunately, soon I can reinforce that with flamethrowers. Oh, oops.
we're finally here. Stack inserted on. Let's yeah, get some more inserter capacity. I suppose. Or maybe actually get started on modules. And uh, here. Start pumping this oil into these tanks. that outpost. Oop. Yeah. Those. Yeah. Much of that might be gone when I get there. But now we have oil in the base. So I just need to shore off the defenses. It's not looking good. So I need to shore up the defenses. Oh wow. Well, I should bump off the limit here too. So shore up the defenses and then get started on uh, doing oil science and stuff. And then I can finally get robots. Post is still standing, if barely. Bump the limit there. It's okay. Can do that on my way out here. Like now. Enough to four thousand for the ammo. And then the other one is how much? Uh, I can stay on two, I think. Please continue going this way. Okay, some of them did at least. Okay. Still not all of them. There we go, just one more remaining. Okay. Yeah, outpost still standing.
efficiency modules are the most important ones. that all the inserters are still standing here. Might be time to upgrade this to a fast inserter. I put it on the inside here so that it's slightly farther away from the enemies. But yeah, let's make it fast one. properly. Efficiency module! Batteries are needed for robots. Yeah, there's the missing belt. Keep it running the same way. Alright, this should bring this outpost back in working condition. of oil accumulated here. Hmm. Already consumed 300,000 iron from here. Okay, these are not quite ready yet. Almost worked out fine.
Like now we have enough ammo there. Still another thousand in there. It's good. I think I can leave this for now. So now, time to figure out some oil processing and blue science. Or oil processing and red circuits and then some blue science. Maybe some efficiency modules in between. Evolution. Yeah, these have still not seen any combat, I think. Okay, these are producing not a lot of pollution, which is good. They're producing a lot of pollution for their uh, for their number. But not a lot in absolute numbers. So how much pollution do, do these make? One per minute. Compared to these at four per minute. So yeah, that would be a pretty good upgrade too. Oh, this is in combat. Right, and these walls need to be too thick in order to deal with big miners. feeling much calmer now than I did a while ago. Now that I have the oil in the base and these things. I guess this one still isn't really reinforced. But it also isn't really generating a lot of pollution right now. So yeah, I'm feeling quite good about this. Another thousand rounds. Things are looking good. Let's have this make some more assemblers. Let's bump that up to two stacks. And maybe it's time to just make a dedicated assembler for assemblers. Some reinforcement down there in the south. So another thing I should start producing is level 2 assemblers. So maybe I should actually put this here with that in mind. We can instead place a lab in assembler here. I'll just hand feed this one with belts. It doesn't really need that much of it. Uh, these stack to 10, so let's, yeah, let's limit it to one stack for now. I don't really need more labs anyway, so that's mostly for the future to have that in place. 
So yeah, another thing I should figure out, I suppose, is uh, some belt assemblers. Maybe even before the oil, so that I can upgrade all these things. But on the other hand, I don't really need any more throughput right now. Because this is already uh, completely filled with steel. And yeah, these are saturated with iron. So if anything, I guess it would be copper, actually. But for that I just need another mine instead. So yeah, I guess I don't really need red belts right now. So next up is going to be oil processing and, <coughs> and blue science. Uh, right, and an assembler for assemblers. Let's get that done right away. Before I forget. This one here. Okay, so we have that one there and that one there. Three assemblers and speed modules. I'm just gonna need to blow this cliff up as soon as I can. So let's do a hundred. No, actually, just 50 of those. Because I don't really need that many. Mostly need them for these. And then that needs steel. Okay, a hundred of those. And it also needs these two. Yeah, that's all. Hello, Colonel Will. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> Again, doing it all wrong needs more faster, yeah. I know. So yeah, I'm doing I'm getting quite a bit of good progress here. This is definitely the farthest I've gotten in this challenge so far. So this like we like we mentioned earlier in the chat, this one might be the run. Some outposts for iron and one for coal over here, which is gonna need more ammo and stuff soon. And then just recently we have set up this very nice oil outpost as well, which 
I realize now it doesn't have a radar, but at least I have one here. <laughs> Which the buyers can come and chew on when they get angry about this. So yeah, we're accumulating up a bunch of oil here. Uh, this is actually full already. It's pretty nice. So yeah, right now I just set up these assemblers for assemblers. And uh, just... Yeah, right now just basically trying to... Think of something to do, really. Uh, I was... I was just about to end the session here. But I guess I can... Continue for a bit longer just for you guys. Uh, so I just said that I I need to set this up and then also get some uh, oil processing and some blue signs done. I conclude that I could upgrade these furnaces with the red belts, but I don't really need to right now because I'm already saturated on both iron and steel. I do need more copper, so maybe a first thing to do would be... Uh, Red circuit is going to consume lots and lots of more copper, so yeah. That's actually probably the thing I need to do first. That also gives me an opportunity to reinforce these pillboxes here. So yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. So for that I'm going to need more belts. Maybe some more... No, I have enough miners for that. At least. Uh, I don't need pipes for it. I don't need more turrets than I have. But yeah, more belts and stuff. Did I re-enable this? Yeah, okay, so the mall is getting steel, so we should have some more... Yeah, yeah, yeah. are worse. Uh, belts is what I need needed. I can dump that too. Let's dump the coal. I don't think I need that in my inventory anymore. Dump the gears, dump the circuits. And grab the bits. Okay, that is manageable. Alright, I was talking about setting up flamethrowers here too. This is fine for a while longer. I need to make progress on the red circuits so that I can get robots. I guess can move now. in here. Maybe not all of them actually, but most of them at least. Can keep a few in my inventory and grab some of those instead. Don't think I actually need to grab the flamethrowers right now. 26 is way more than I will use for one outpost anyway. I should reinforce these two. Battery finished. Okay. What's next then? I guess flammables are going to be useful eventually, but yeah, let's also get started on these things here. We're gonna need oil processing, but 
That is going to be one of the next goals anyway, so... Now let me get rid of this here. Should I grab more ammo before I leave? There's not that much more to grab anyway. One lone spitter. Poor thing. So then can we not fall? So now let's move on this copper. I didn't say coal this time. Small victories. Can I really not place this anywhere? reasonable. There. Okay.
Okay, need to clear some more trees first. There we go. So now let's see what that should do. That's on before. Oh. That was close. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I I have heard that sound before. In that kind of situation. And that time, it ended up with me getting killed. Almost did it almost did this time too. Fortunately I had these. Okay. I think I should be safe to keep working, or to continue working, rather, or something. It should be pretty even between the sides without having to do anything special. So let's think about some defenses for this then. Oh, 
not on this cliff. Yeah, <laughs> should keep me covered from that side. Let's move these forward a bit. I think I really need to worry about this side here. I guess I can do something like this, just in case. Yeah, that I think uh, this is looking good. Did I leave too much ammo? No? Okay. Let's bring this back to the base. I should keep that one free so that I can keep using it as a tr personal transport belt. Here's what I can do. I can do that and that. And then I can re-enable it remotely. Once all this is Although, <clears throat> once all this copper ore has come off. squiggle this through like up here next to the coal maybe and up this way up this way.
Yay, these are finally finished. See if I can do this in a reasonable way. Probably not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. to start consuming lots and lots and lots of copper. So yeah, maybe now it's actually time to, s to f actually upgrade this. to start getting to work on oil processing for which I need some space but I, uh, I have a good amount of space here I can just put up some um, put up some turrets this way should be good can I dump this dome somewhere maybe Okay. So, oil processing. So I guess we we'll just wall off against these cliffs. It's probably the easiest. Maybe now it's time to also set up an automated ammo belt up there. Explosives are finished. Landmines would be pretty nice. At least to have once I get robots working. But until then I think I will be ha having more use of these. Although this also is immediately useful. For oil processing I'm also going to need circuits actually. Or eventually once I get the advanced one at least. 
So let's do that first. Uh, yeah. So I guess I can probably just extend this wall straight up this way. Hello. Yeah, and I should get some flamethrowers down here. Uh, let's not deconstruct the cliff. Just to get started on that. Maybe I should grab some of the oil processing facilities before I go. I guess so. Let's see here. How much are these producing per second? 14, 17. Maybe I can check. So at most we were doing... How much per sec? Per... the unit here. I guess it's per minute, probably. Yeah, probably. So divide that by 10, that's 800, and by 6, that's like 112. No, like uh, 120 ish. Okay, so let's see here. This is 20 per second, so I can probably do like six or somewhere between six and eight refineries with us. Somewhere around there, probably. Should be enough. I can grab a few more of those. Oh, not quite that many. This okay. Might need more pipes actually. If I'm gonna set up a whole bunch of flamethrower turrets.
Oh, whoops. This was still producing assemblers. Uh, stop it. And let's make... Whoops. Miners instead. for the flamethrowers. So let's see how we do those. So I need them to get out here, so I guess I can just go north of here. Unless I want to run them here, but yeah, I think I want to go here. Maybe? Yeah, that saves me from having to squiggle it all the way through here too. So, let's see... Keep it a bit closer here, so I don't need to go so far out. That's the range. Oh, I guess I need this to also be safe from that angle, actually. Something like this. That uh, almost symmetrical. Let's make it symmetrical. Okay. 
Not that it really matters though, I suppose. Should still be safe from the spitters. get started on that. So yeah, so I need to go f here first to fix up the pipes. I just have to dump it here. I managed to miss all the belts. Nice.
Oh. I guess I just need to reinforce this too. That's good for now. Got some good flames out coverage there too. I have successfully not died so far.
refill of ammo. Okay, so now let's get on these here. So now maybe it's time to get some more flamethrower damage. Get those buffed up already. should also squeeze in some flamethrowers here somehow. Probably needs to expand the walls for that. First of all, I think I need to close off there, so I don't get any sneak attacks on the backside here.
This is kind of not attacked already. I guess we'll pull that back a bit then. came from here, okay. So yeah, I need to be careful up here, I suppose. Yeah, that should be no problem. for now. I don't have any big science buffers that <laughs> you can kill at least. Yes, got two turret turrets. Even though the turrets won't. No, they did clean it up, okay. more turrets there. At least there's plenty of ammo that I can pick up. Oh, whoops. Could have ended this build much earlier. another expansion down there now. That's unfortunate, I wanted to take that iron somewhat soon. Maybe I should just clear all these out and wall off here. Just claim all that space to have it for later. few things but not all that bad really <laughs> and 
unfortunately I was a bit slow with taking a blueprint there. So let's see, there, no there. Okay, it's a stone belt, it seems. Hello, Lyrico. I'm really impressed by the fact you can tolerate not walking. Oh, thank you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's an interesting challenge, I'll say that. And honestly, I don't really notice it all that much anymore. <laughs> kind of getting used to it at this point.
And now I guess I need to redo this a bit here. Should be back up and running here. some more belts before I go much further. Uh, I think I can probably make it out here. Okay. Yeah. I don't need to leave any belts right now. I don't think I'm doing an automated ammo belt just yet. I think I'll wait for that until I have robots. Maybe at that point it won't be necessary. We'll see. Find flammables done. Let's get some more of that, I guess. Is there anything else I need first? I don't need those. Shooting speed would be nice, I suppose. But yeah, let's just go with flammables. Make the flame turrets all that more deadly. Oh, these are doing damage now. Nice. And these have zero kills and these have 130. That's very nice means this is working as intended. Namely that we're just taking damage on the walls basically. Could use some more ammo here and some repairs.
whoops. <laughs> That came from here. Oopsie. Yeah, next I need to close off there and there. And yeah, this whole thing. Then take out these two nests. And after that I think that's gonna be enough for today. And I need to, need to go to sleep. Poor trees. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need more gun turrets. Hmm. So let's see where we place this. Maybe like that ish.
could prevent forest fires here. So what about this then, I guess I'll do... Like that. Oh. Oh. Whew. That was a big wave. And I probably lost like yeah, 300 ammo in those turrets. Yeah, 400 ammo in the turrets. Yikes. Well, better 400 ammo than me.
hope I don't die this time either. Okay, we're going somewhere else. Looks like here. at least I need to pick up some more ammo before I can move on this I think or do I probably don't actually no uh, with a big worm I wanna be I wanna be uh, careful I think I can leave these belts down Back in the relative safety of the base.
Pick up more belts while I'm here too. Supposed to be, yeah, this one is going to be useful. This was the, the big attack that I barely survived. Yeah, never mind. I thought they had attacked well, the turrets I left here. Yeah, I was going to place a radar here, but I forgot to bring the power up. Guess I can place the radar now and do this when I remember. Nest. Oh, here comes an attack. Looks like that's going to impact here.
<laughs> Big rooms getting ready already. <coughs> getting ready already. See something like that is the worm range. for this slime to expire because it hurts quite a lot to move into it
get the landmines. That's going to be one of the primary components of the de defense. And once we get robots. Okay, now we can finally close off this here. It's fine. So what the walls are for, basically. Uh, so walls and walls and walls. Probably just put a pillbox or something. Okay, let's put some flamers. Two, three, four, five.
So these turrets here are mostly just in case any biters make it through. It's here. Take this down. Some more pipes here. Good amount of space to set up some oil processing and blue science and red circuits and all that nice, all those nice things. Well, I guess I actually also need to close here. I don't think they're going to come attacking there soon, so I'll do that later. Maybe I can even get some robots in the air and I'll let the, those do it for me. We will see, but that's going to be another session, because this one has, is, yeah, probably a bit too long already. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching, thanks Colonel Will, Colonel Will for the, uh, the raid. And that's landmines, yeah. Kind of running out of things to do with, uh, without the blue signs here. Uh, but I guess we can take some inserter capacity. It's always nice. So yeah, I'm going to just connect up these power poles right here. And then that's going to do it for today.
and place a few safety turrets. And there, that's going to be enough for today. Thanks everyone for watching. And hello, Ludico. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks everyone for hanging out and uh, sticking around after the raid and everything. So yeah, next time focus is going to be on blue signs, on red circus and getting bots in the air. So that we can uh, finally, hopefully, get some work done with the robots. And not have to rely on belting myself around all the time, everywhere. So that's probably when this uh, playthrough is going to really take off, hopefully. Assuming I can get there. So yeah, that's... Might be tomorrow. Otherwise, probably like Friday or Saturday. But yeah, I'll see you all then. And have a good one. And uh, yeah, have a good one. I'll see you later.